Italian soundtrack composers have long had a knack for conveying horror in their music and sounds like no one else. And one such artist to have excelled in the genre is Fabio Frizzi. And from his 1981 soundtrack to the film La Dilla, the track Oltre la Soglia. <laughs> So far, um, I, things are just kind of going along. I, 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 I'm not detecting anything yet, anything lurking around the corner, any like menace about to appear, any ghastly formation, just... It's like a walk through the alley, albeit dark, you know, steamy. Are we going to make it home alive? Here how that piano motif is, is like interacting with the violins and you, you, you've got the musical part and you've also got the shrieking part that's just kind of fighting against the musical element. Yeah, those like shrieking, fluttery, high end strings that are that are just kind of almost like stabbing at the the actual musical element. And and you've also got the rich string arrangement that's adding fullness to the to the theme. say um, a lot of these Italian like horror soundtracks tend to be built more on atmosphere and sound effects um, to create kind of a spooky ominous vibe but this is really musical for its, its genre I mean this so far what I'm hearing I think like Universe Zero or Art Zoid would be envious of, of this <laughs> Okay, we've gone up half a step. I, most of that was, a lot of that was based in, um, yeah, like E flat. Now we're in E. Maybe it was. Full step D, yeah, D, D, D minor to E. Now the the fluttering is like cutting down different like uh, like oh uh, notes in the tonality. It's going like, nah, nah. Like. I need to take a, 
a bit of time out to uh, pinpoint the, the, the very selective placement of the bass notes that are adding kind of a, a rhythmic component that's more felt than heard, but it, it really places key emphasis in, in certain... Uh, it, 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 it gives a certain rhythmic character that that, um, that uh, it just wouldn't be the same if the bass was just kind of like walking along um, with, with the melody. <laughs> Now we've got the the fluttering is going no 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 amid the uh, the the melodic framework. Da, 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 da. That the um the percussion also adds something that. There's really no drumming on this. Just it's just like some like some symbol, like the the edge of a symbol or just some like metal. was um, Oltre la Saglia by Fabio Frizzi from the 1981 soundtrack to the horror movie La Dilla. And uh, since that went by so quickly, let's hear another one. From you. This is a Voce del Nula. Um, I believe the uh, second um, of the there there are three tracks uh, this this theme appears three times on the album i believe this is the second <laughs> Now we're going into like choral, like 20th century. Um, I'm, I'm hearing kind of a magma influence. vocalists are on this I'm, I'm hearing I uh, right front and center I'm hearing like three voices but it, it's really thick and really dense <laughs> Going into, the, going into like a martial section. I must say that um, these two tracks, um, both are very, I would say both very intense uh, rather than like scary. C minor. Um, A minor with like a kind of a bass note descent. I'm hearing some faint woodwinds uh, complementing the theme. Mm -hmm. 
that uh, rhythmic component is definitely um, the guiding force here. I mean, bum, 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 bum. Even though you might, it might not be the, the first thing that your ears um, go to um, as you hear this, um, it's definitely the thing that's really making this track what it is. It's giving it its character. The, um, the vocals would be kind of lost without it. There's a lot of... Um, layers going on in the background though it, it's how it it, it it has kind of like like a crowded pandemonium sense to it to it all like like little layers that 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 were just uh recorded to uh be at kind of like a low volume back in to just create this sense of of, of noise of Like there's like a secondary choir in back, like like male voices that I'm hearing way in the background and some different uh, like string no notes and everything. <laughs> Um, inter the additions of like a bit of like acoustic guitar here and some bass work are really giving it more of a richness right here. <laughs> I like that touch, the the high end strings that are now complementing the, the main the frontal theme. No 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 no. Like an octave higher, of course, but no 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 like <laughs> snare drum. Fabio Frizzi with Voci Dal Nulla. And before that, um, Oltre La Saglia, two of the, uh, well, standout tracks from the soundtrack to the 1981 Italian horror movie, La Dilla. And I believe uh, the third album from this soundtrack, from this Italian soundtrack composer, um, at least according to the uh, <clears throat> the Rate Your Music discography. And um, I would say very grand, very full, and a lot of um, compositional intricacy for a work of this kind. Um, yeah, because like there, there are many, I, I have heard dozens upon dozens upon dozens of Italian soundtracks from the, the 70s and early 80s. And, um, and while a, a lot of it's good, um, they, they tend to focus more on kind of like atmospheric or, or kind of like simpler motifs just with dressed up with um, like little uh, touches to give them atmosphere and, and such like that. Um, both in the um, soundtrack and in the library veins. Um, and a few are as developed as this. 
I mean, th this um, he, he definitely put a lot of ideas into this one, and um, I, I I I do sense that he put that a lot of time was put into this. It's not like some of these um, composers that were churning out like four or five soundtracks per year. Um, when, when you when you're working at that pace, I I I don't think you're going to have many moments as as um, complex and, and intricate and, and developed as, as what we just heard. Um, anyway, for more rubies and sapphires from this album and from other Italian soundtrack albums, see the directory of albums by Italian artists linked in the description below. Like and subscribe, follow me on social media, and leave a comment about anything about these two pieces that stood, about, stood out to you and um, things that you noticed about the music. And... Um, and tell me, how did they make you feel? Did they frighten you? Did they leave you in suspense? Did you picture anything? Whether or not you ever saw the movie. And until next time, this is Aragon, the world's most air travel tri-maximalist, signing off.